What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, this is Overlanding Now. And today what I wanna to talk about and kinda of go over is probably the single most question we get asked about the Subaru Outback Wilderness and that is how do you connect the attachments to your crossbars? Um, for my Max Tracks, my shovel, and my axe, people ask that question quite literally every single day, how do I mount those items to the crossbars? So what I wanna do today is I wanna go over that entire process, what I use, and I think for the most part, you'll be able to use whatever you have, um, and I'll go over all the specifics of what you need in case you don't have it, hopefully answer those questions. Um, I don't mind man answering them on Instagram, but it's literally every single day, so hopefully this will help you. On top of that, I want to say thank you to Nylight Off-Road Lights who have decided to come on board and be a sponsor of the channel. If you're not familiar with Nylight, I will put their link uh, in the description below for you to go check out their off-road lights. They have ambers, they have the ditch lights, they have round lights. I have always been a rigid industries light guy, um, but the, real, the reality that, that everyone kind of faces is those lights are extremely expensive. And to like the common person, the me and you people, I would have no idea the difference between the two lights. And I have used Nylite in the past on my side-by-side -side, and we have put them on my buddy's truck and they work flawlessly and they've been working for years. So for that, I wanna say thank you to Nylite for coming on and being a part of the channel. Um, their link is in the description. You can click it or go to their Amazon store and you can take a look around. It's extremely economical, but they don't sacrifice the quality that you're probably looking for. Second thing I wanna talk about today before we get into the attachments is the Upside app. <clears throat> Upside app. If you have not heard of the Upside app, uh, this is they don't sponsor the channel for any reason whatsoever, but I wanna tell you about the Upside app because we just found out about the Upside app and I'm going to put the link to sign up for the Upside app in the description below and you literally get cash back on every single gallon of gas you put in your vehicle. For us, that's a huge deal. And if you're watching this, you probably drive a considerable amount as well. So getting any type of cash back on your gasoline, especially with what we're paying for gas right now, it's, it's a pretty big deal. Um, I know for the power wagon, we drove the power wagon to Florida after we picked it up. We had just got home recently. And throughout that trip, we used it every time we stopped for gas. And that thing is a gas hog. And we were, managed to uh, get $75 in cash back throughout that trip. So that is another tank of gas that we got for absolutely free. So the link is in the description for the Upside app. Like I said, no affiliation, but I think it's something that you should know. So. Now that we got through all of that, let's talk about how we attach everything we have to our crossbars on our Subaru Outback Wilderness. Okay, so everything that we talk about today, I will put links in the description for each one of the items. Uh, a lot of people ask which ones they are, um, and I don't think everyone realizes that a lot of the different um, accessories and the crossbars, they kind of can be cross-contaminated a bit. I don't know this to be true for everything, but most of the crossbars have a slot. They have a channel that runs on top of them. And as long as you have a T-nut that is the right size to slide inside that channel, you'll be able to fit whatever accessory mounts you want within that channel. At least that is true for me. So what I have on top of the Outback Wilderness is the Yakima HD load bars. They are the heavy duty, super thick and sturdy load bars. The reason I got those at the time was because I planned on putting a tent up there. Um, and I still may do that from time to time, but I don't run with a tent every single day but I wanna have the ability to put a tent on those crossbars in the event that that's something that we wanna do and we wanna take this camping in a different capacity. Um, so what I use, all of the attachments I use are Rhino Rack. 
Now, Rhino Rack is no affiliation to us in the channel, but I have always used Rhino Rack and I have a Pioneer platform that was on my Gladiator before I traded it in that I'm swapping over to put on the Power Wagon. So I have a lot of Rhino Rack accessories. And what this is, this is their Max Trax mount. Now, when you purchase these, you get two of them. One for the front load bar, one for the rear load bar. Now, the most important piece is, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's this little nut that slides into the channel on the crossbars. Now, once that is slid into the channel, there are bolts on top, you tighten everything down, and it snugs it up. And then you just set your max tracks on these two exposed bolts, and they come with uh, little hand tightening screws, and you can tighten them down, and it holds your max tracks flush. I have used these on the Gladiator. I have used these on my wife's JL before we got rid of it. I will also be using these on our new Power Wagon. So these have always worked great for us. It works with the Pioneer platform system for those other vehicles, but it also works with pretty much any load bar system as long as there's a channel on top. And from my understanding, because a lot of the times when somebody asks me on Instagram, I ask them back, well, what type of load bars do you have and do they have a channel? If they say yes, then I send them the link that's appropriate for what they're trying to do. So this is how you can mount your max tracks on your load bars. Now, when we talk about the shovel as well as the ax, um, again, I go with the Rhino Rack Stowits. These Stowits are super simple. They have a lock because you know the, the shovel is relatively expensive for a shovel. Um, the max tracks are expensive as well. I just don't have a locking mechanism for them. I never have. I've been very lucky to not get stolen from. Um, but these Stowits are so easy to use. Again, they have one T-nut on the bottom and there's a bolt on the inside. You snug everything up and then all you do is press your button and it opens up. You lay your, your ax or your shovel or whatever you want to put in there. Fishing rods can go in there and then you shut it down and it latches together and then you can lock it on this side. These little things can be used for both the shovel as well as the ax or you know whatever else you want to use. Um, and this is what I use for specifically my ax on top. Now you might be asking, well, why do you carry an ax? Very rarely do you need one, but it's one of those items that if you need it, you need it, and there's really not anything that can take its place. So that's why I carry an ax. Um, but these are available on Amazon. I will put the link to these in the description as well if you want to check them out. None of the Rhino Rack stuff is ex inexpensive at all. It's, it's more expensive than it should be for what it is. But it all works really well. I'm very happy with how I've been able to interchange them throughout all the different vehicles that we've had, and I've had no issues in doing so. Um, now, for my shovel specifically, it's a little bit different. Now, one thing I want to mention, with the Stowits, you can orientate them however you want. So, depending upon where you want this to be, you slide this T-nut into your channel, and if you want it to be parallel or perpendicular to the vehicle, all you have to do is spin it in that direction, and then tighten it up and it'll be in whatever orientation you want it to be in. So it's super versatile and you can use it in a lot of different ways. Now for my shovel, I have had to do something that's, you know, I, I just had a bunch of Rhino Rack stuff laying around. From all the stuff that we purchased through all of our vehicles, I have like a box that just says Rhino Rack on it and I put all that stuff in there when I'm not using it. And then when a time like this arises, I can kind of go to it and rummage through it and get extra T-nuts, get extra bolts, get extra uh, clamps, things that I used in the past. And what I did on the shovel is I had to kind of make a little bit, fabricate something a bit. Um, I had like multiple different mounts that I used and I kind of put something together and made it work. Now, you don't have to do that. Obviously, I had to do that because I didn't have anything else at the time. And like I said, these Stowits and all of this stuff is not cheap. So I wanted to try to use what I had in the garage and I was successful in doing so. Um, so those are the items that I use. Now, like I said, I have the Yakima HD load bars and then I use the Rhino Rack Max Tracks mounts and I use the Rhino Rack Stowits. So all of this is what I use to attach all of the stuff to my crossbars. Regardless of the type of crossbars that you use, 
you should be able to use all of this stuff as well. Just make sure the top of it has a channel and there's a slot in there for you to slide this T-nut through and fasten the bolt down. As long as you can do that, you can pretty much use anything, um, anything that works for you. Now, if you guys know of other stuff or you use something different, I would love to hear about it in the comments because like I said, I've been with Rhino Rack for like the past five years doing different builds and you know using their stuff on all of the, the vehicles that I've built. So I've just stuck with them, um, but I am not opposed to finding something that's more economical like the nightlight lights that I was talking about earlier, um, but also functions really well. So if there's anything like that, I would love for you guys to leave those in the comments so that I could check up on them. Um, but that's, that's how I do it. Um, I do use actual Max Tracks, and I will put the link in the description for the actual Max Tracks. I will put a link to the Crazy Beaver shovel that I have in the description as well, and the Fisker's axe that is attached to the roof rack. If you're looking to do kind of a similar setup, all of that stuff is going to be in the description for you. Um, they're not all affiliate links. Some of them are just regular links to their websites, and I'll try to shorten them so they're not super hard to chase down. But uh, that's all I have. I wanted to kind of go over this, and I'm hoping that this will give somebody... I don't care that you message me on Instagram, but if there's a way for you to get the information, I, I never did a video like this before, so I felt that it would be it would be helpful. Again, thank you for subscribing if you are, and if you're not, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We do stuff just like this all the time with the Subaru Outback Wilderness. We are going to be starting the build on the 2022 Ram Power Wagon. Um, my wife and I were in here playing with the 8020 aluminum yesterday, trying to map out something that we like. And uh, we do a lot of that kind of stuff. So we appreciate you guys for watching. Um, and we will see you guys on the next one.